Hello, this is uh, Andu12 or Nile from uh, Calling All Creepers, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a pistol in Blender. One kind of like this, probably not. Depends, right? And possibly in the future, how to make one of these. This is my Barrett 50 cal. Untextured. But yeah. Alright. This tutorial is for beginners, so um, if I'm going a bit slow, don't complain. Right, what you want to do first is, I've already done this, I've gone on Google Images, found a nice picture of a pistol, this is what I'm going to be using. And what you want to do is, uh, you can use anyone, it doesn't really matter, save image as. Um, doesn't matter where you save it, just make sure you can uh, find it. Alright, nice. And then what you want to do is you want to press N to bring up this little side thing here. Uh, scroll down to background images, press little arrow. You want to tick the box, click add image, um, open and then just find where you saved your picture there we go and then this is a bit that quite a lot of people struggle with what you want to do is you need to be in um, view perspective or orthographic and then which is also um, 5 on the numpad and then you want front view there we go see and then you don't have to uh, start with this you can use whatever shape you like I'm just going to use a box for now just sort of put it in place like that yeah, you can get rid of the side bit now press T to get rid of this one as well okay so what you want to do is you want to go into edit mode by pressing tab or you can do it manually using this object mode edit mode and it gives you this this allows you to move around each individual point so like this you just gotta remember that where it's a cube there's ones there's points behind these ones as well so um if you press B and then drag you can select and then oh yeah what you want to do put that back um, you want to click this little box here which um, basically makes it so that you can select what you can't see so then I've got both the points now and you just want to position it like this You can also um, just right click to select these and if you hold shift you can select another one. Um, right. Just once you got it in place and then B, select the whole row. Like that, see, and then you want to press E and it like makes another one, and then you position this. And you want to do it again, and you want to keep doing it till you sort of start building up a shape, like so. If you want to um, move around, if you hold shift and then press the uh, the wheel button that you use to zoom in and out, you can uh, move about like that. If you want to like kind of scroll around like this, 
uh, you just hold the um, wheel button and so this is what I've got so far all you want is the um, basic shape first of all and then you can start sort of making it look nicer and adding sort of details and such Okay, so this is looking good, but um, as you can see, it's a bit kind of, it's not very smooth there. And seeing as this is a handle, we don't want it so square. We want it quite smooth, so what we're going to do is press T to get up this side bit, and shading, can make it smooth. See, it looks a lot nicer now. And then, uh, colour it, so what we're going to do is go to uh, material this one um, diffuse and you can choose what color you like this one it's a um, dark wood color so there we go that's nice all right that's the first bit um, go back to our gun now we just continue um, but what we're going to want to do is shift A to add mesh cube we want we're gonna want the two separate colors so we're just gonna make a new one and uh, I think we'll start up here gonna need to zoom in right Right, um, what you want to make sure you do is when you're doing things like the barrel or if it's a different type of pistol in the magazine is you want to keep it separate from the main gun. This is because if you're going to animate it or use it in a game, you're going to want to have those parts sort of animated so you can do sort of reload animations and such. So you're going to want those parts to be able to move, whereas if they're attached to the main gun, they won't be able to do that. So you just want to make sure they're separate. So what I'm going to do is just make a new cylinder for the um, barrel. Alright, and um, that's pretty much all I'm going to show you in this tutorial. That's pretty much it. That's what I would call the basic kind of shape. And then you can build on that, add all sorts of detail, and you know, you can get in all like the little screws and the patterns and 
the sort of indents and that sort of thing. But there we go. That's that's how you do that. I uh, might make another tutorial. This is my first ever tutorial, so feel free to like, leave a comment, uh, tell me what I did wrong, tell me how I could improve. I'm open to criticism. And um, yeah, that's about it. If you would, if you'd like to see my um, my Barrett 50 cal, and let me know, and I might do a tutorial on it as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll give you another. There we go. Let me see what I did here for reload animations and such. I've got the door here and also the mag is separate, you can take that out and um, yeah so you can do all sorts of detail like the holes, the little bits on sort of scopes and such it's uh, pretty simple, you can use the same methods I've shown today it just takes time really and uh, yeah thanks for watching and goodbye